We're in the El Dorado to catch that final fish. Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to part 14 of my Reg Stretches Fishing Edition. And if you are returning, welcome back. And this is the one that we're missing. I don't know, hopefully we can catch it here. I have um, our Serena examining the water. There are a couple of spots, but they're behind the uh, gates, so we have to, so it, it was only the tambaqui, which we've already caught, and not the one. Okay, so go fish. <laughs> Just go fishing. Um, I have caught it, and I don't remember if I caught it here, or if I had to catch it behind the gate, because when I came with, like, another household that I'm playing offline, the two fishing areas were opened. <laughs> the first time that we came but those sims had more skills than these sims so i'm not sure how well they're gonna do going through and i don't know if they've like got enough of the things that they need to help them they have fire foam and i'll probably put them in like one of their inventories so they have it and they have lightning insulation powder one of them should have the spider the parker spider repellent maybe it was given to her Oops, and then she caught a, I, I was, a, maybe I was, maybe I was on her. Okay, I was thinking I was on Rex. I was trying to flip over to her. <laughs> I thought it was actually Rex who had got it. Oh, he has the Guzmanian pollenus flower that he bought her cat. So he has the spider repellent. Okay, so he has, doesn't actually have very much of the other things because she did all the purchasing. Let's see while they fish. Let's go see if the um, vendors are here. If there's anything else we can buy. Oh, they are. Look at this. And they have lots of things. So why don't you come here and purchase all of this stuff? You have enough money. We don't, we're not like loaded, but we have money. <laughs> we're, we have money. Don't need to really buy that. Okay, so hopefully he gets here soon so we can buy these things and then we can go exploring in hopes that we can we're gonna get this one This I know we already have the fire foam, but now we don't have to share it oh, again I guess I'm gonna have to oh you left. Oh because of the storm All right, so come over here <laughs> and change it to uh, Clear skies Because <laughs> we don't want to thunderstorm while we're out exploring <laughs> not at all that's not a good I uh okay <laughs> at least we got some stuff we didn't get everything because the storm started again okay so we've got that and yeah, and he's the best one to do it, because he has the max skill. And it's still thundering, though. No! <laughs> no babies! She's still out there, and it's still thundering. Okay, well, it should have been successful, because he's maxed his... Yeah. It's still thundering, though. <laughs> She's still fishing. <laughs> well, how long is it going to take to take effect? That's my jam from Legging Played Music. Okay. Well, we're gonna... Oh, I see. He has to upgrade it to do anything else. I wanted to... Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, well, let's hope. Oh, it's... Now it's raining. Now it's clear skies. Okay, so... Are they gonna come back? Well, someone's here. So we're just going to buy, because we're going to share them between the inventories, of course. And maybe the other person will come and we can buy that stuff there, too. So that we can then, like, have more stuff. And there's a cat. And we're going to purchase that. Bye-bye! <laughs> can you guys come back so we can buy these things? Let's check what's in their inventory and split it up. So he has seven of those, so we will give a couple to... I will split them between their inventories, and then I'm going to take them over to the park where we can uh, hopefully do some exploring and see what things are opened. 
see where they are. They should be on the, yeah, they have to find the area off the path, which is something that we should be able to do. We won't be able to examine the traps because I'm not planning on going into the temple, but I will be back. It's later because I had Rex buy some more things off the table because they were back after the storm ended. So I'm going to have him clear path with hands because his gardening is pretty high and that's a skill that's good for that. I have uh, asked Serena to scrub root herself. She was successful and now she is going to be playing chess. There are no piles for her to like look through that. So that's not going to be helpful. And I did divvy up the stuff that they had and the more stuff that I bought between the two of them in hopes that I'm going to mainly just have Rex do this because... This is what I'm going to focus on right now. <laughs> it's him. And uh, hopefully he gets something that he either has this skill, which he does have a few of the skills that are helpful. He doesn't have all of the skills that are helpful. <laughs> but he does have a pile of those, you know, things for deterring the bad things <laughs> if he doesn't have it. So we'll see. And I have his skills up just to remind me. So when I get the pop-up, I can help me make my decision about what he should be doing. Of course, this is not off the path. This is the path that he's going through right now. So it's not going to count until, you know, we get to one that's off the path. Oh, look at this. High handiness skill is going to help. Rex is having a really enjoyable hike in the jungle when he suddenly hears a sim screaming a short ways off. He sprints in the direction of screaming and finds a sim that's being menaced by a carnivorous plant. So he can create a distraction because he has maxed handiness, so he should be successful with this. Obviously, we could also use the Dr. Park Parker Spider Repellent, but he really shouldn't need it. Using only a few items from his pack, Rex creates a surprisingly realistic dummy in only a few seconds. He tosses the dummy in the direction of the vine. Surprisingly, the carnivorous plant takes the bait, and the sims use the opportunity to make and escape. So the other sim is so grateful that he gives Rex a bunch of stuff he collected in the jungle. Okay, so he is through, and that's not off the path. I don't know what he got. Let's take a look. Obviously, there's also, if we wanted to, we could harvest some, like, avocados and whatnot, but so it looks like he got a fossil rock, and that's all I'm seeing as new in his inventory. So if he got something else, I'm not seeing it. So this one is locked. Always good. <laughs> because it's locked, it means there's a chance that one of our fishing spots will be available. And we do have this here. I have her playing chess, but I think what I'll do is I'll have her excavate that. Since I'm not having her work on this part of the jungle explorer, I will have her work on the archaeology scholar where she needs to excavate three dig piles or excavation sites. Will also help her build her archaeology, which is another skill that's useful for going through. So we're going to get him back here and have him clear the path with hands. Is that just him still traveling through? Okay, so she's going to do that and he's going to do this. And this is still the path. It's not off the path. And we shall see. Oh, let me get over here. I kind of do know what he <laughs> He only has a handful of skills. It's not as complicated with this. Oh, look at this. It's Salvadoradian culture, which we have maxed. So nestled in the jungle is what looks like an ancient pedestal of some kind. On top is a shiny treasure, clearly placed there as an offering. It's just there for the taking. Should he take it or leave it behind? Well, we're going to take it because we have maxed our Salvadoradian culture skill. So that should mean that it should be hopefully successful. While chatting with the locals, Rex heard rumors about just such a treasure in the jungle. By recalling the lyrics from a traditional song, he follows a sequence of steps that safely, safely deactivates the trap. The treasure is his for the taking. Okay. So what treasure did we get this time? Oh my goodness. Uh, we got a really good treasure. <laughs> we didn't get it from fishing, but we got it on our quest to try and find the fishing spots. That will get a pretty penny on the yard sale table. Okay, so let me get my bearings. So this takes you to like the the swimming spot. Oh, so she got a Balamposo relic. Okay, so this is one fishing spot. It's open, so at least we hopefully will be able to get that fish. But I don't know that I have as much luck getting treasures fishing there. 
Here is the temple, which we're not going to. And yes, this is the spot that has the treasures. So, and it is also off the track. So this is one that will finally count for going off the track. So we're going to have him do that one. And honestly, she may as well do... Uh, I don't know that I see any dig spots in here. And we may as well unlock both of the fishing spots, you know? Because then we'll, uh, we'll make sure they fish in both of them. So we're going to have her switch over to the jungle explorer the only downside of them doing them both at the same time is i won't be able to have it up her gardening is the same as his or was his is higher now because he's cleared all of these but hers was you know equal and it, she just and she actually has really high handiness so she should be okay with handiness too if she got that type of a pop-up so fishing is another one that is good fitness is one that's good but neither of them have very high fitness. Yeah, she has lower fitness than he does, but so we'll stick with him. And we know that if anything, her skills are like lower than his on the ones where he has high skill. So we'll keep that. I'll try and keep that in mind if we get her pop up before his pop up since I have his skills up because I'm asked, I asked him first. Well, I asked them kind of around the same time, but they were further, she was further away, but she probably can fly. So <laughs> it might not be that long for her either. So let's see. And Rex got it first. So fishing skill is the one we need. So he got really lucky and it was all the skills he had. Rex is blazing a trail through the thick jungle when he comes across a distressed archaeologist who seems to have dropped her bag in some quicksand. Should he stop to help? So we're going to fish out the bay because higher fishing skill leads to better results. And he has obviously maxed that. So we're going to fish it out. He has a flash of inspiration and pulls out his fishing rod. He casts the rod, snags the strap, and reels in the pack. The archaeology archaeologist is so grateful that she gives Rex a cool artifact. Okay, so he got this. Okay, so that's good. And there is a treasure here that I will let them look in. I don't know that I've, when I came in here recently, I'm doing an offline version of this with um, two Sims too, and they didn't really get anything from here. It's uh, it's actually risky. We'll, we'll do it, but we're not going to do it right now. Right now we're going to go fishing uh here with him and you know i don't know did i bring that cooler <laughs> well if i didn't bring the cooler and it's still on the other lot i'll just have to go and they can oh we do have the cooler and we can rally the troops but let's go check in on serena and see how she's looks like she's through it too so she's about to get her pop-up so let me get it back to her skill tab and wait for her pop-up while rex is doing his fishing and she got the same treasure one, which needs the higher Selvadradian culture skill, and she has maxed that. I'm not going to read it again. It's the same one we already did. Take it. And and it's the same thing about the, you know, traditional song, etc. Oh, so she got a treasure probably too. She got a frog. Well, they've done very well <laughs> with this. So we're going to have her fish over here. So that hopefully we can catch that missing fish that I'm pretty sure I didn't see them catch yet. They still don't have that fish. So once they get that fish, then they have completed all of the fishing. What is this? Go fishing, go fishing. I don't know why there's a whole bunch of go fishings there. So now she's going fishing and he's going fishing. So these should help a lot being sold. And she got an electric eel. Oh, what is she... Yeah, this is the only thing that they do get these pop-ups there. So she's luckily she has high enough logic that she is okay. So we're gonna go fishing again with her. And let's check in on Rex and see if he's still fishing. That's the downside of them fishing in different locations. One, it won't help their social because they'll be separate. Oh, there he got his. And... That's one that required the Salvadoran culture skill. So we're going to keep going fishing. Really wants, we keep catching. We, we have Tambaqui and we have electric eels, which we've already caught. So strangely enough, I've caught that Tambaqui in uh, 
you know, regular worlds in my other save. Oh, look, we got it! The armored catfish. It's not worth a lot, but we got it. Yay for that. So there. So the, I don't know how well the cooler works to store things in when we are um, not on our on a lot where we can place it. Because we can't place it here because this is like not a buildable lot. So well, she caught uh, Drake's fire quencher. So we're going to stop her fishing for now because she's the one with the cooler. We're going to have her go here. Go there, my dear. I probably should just have her go fishing in the other location, to be honest, because it's a better... I have had more luck here. So we're gonna... Not not you. Can you fly here? And we'll just fish here. Okay, so now that we're here, can you place this in the world? And let's see if we can put our fish in it. Let's hope we can. There we go. And looks like we can. Yay. Did she catch one too? Oh, she did. I missed that she caught it. Okay, so we we, we double caught it. <laughs> I did remember with my other Sims to bring their little table, and I didn't find that it worked as well here. So this seems... Obviously, this requires a mod, but it seems to be, so far, better, I think. Let's look, see if we can open it. And, uh, I mean, they just, just caught them. Well, maybe she was the one who caught it. No, Rex caught it. Why am I only... Maybe I was in Rex's inventory and I was... I don't know. I guess I was. Because I thought she had caught one. Like, I thought I had one in her inventory that I dragged over here. But, obviously not. Obviously not. Who has the tent? <laughs> in case, because maybe we'll just stay here now that we're here. It's not so safe in the tent, though. Uh, it is, he does have the tent, so let's put it here. We're going to go here. And we're going to see if we can get this placed in the world in a way that we can use it. Because sometimes they place it in the world and you can't get into it. But it looks like we can get into it. And obviously we could eat regular food out of here. I don't think either of them knows, uh, oh, she does know Grand Delicioso. Okay. All right. Well, we're set. You're going to go here and he's catching electric eel. We're going to do some more fishing and see if we can catch any treasure. And I will probably extend their stay since we have the spots I wanted open. I didn't book too long. I, when I came in, right after I came in, it, oh, there he got another armored catfish. I got the pop-up that there was only a day left for their vacation. So, and she caught one. So I'll let them fish a little bit and then I'll transfer them over to the, or may as well I'm sitting here, I'll just put them in here. And, like I said, it does, they do get interrupted from time, I find when they are fishing here, they get interrupted from time to time because they'll get attacked. Oh, he caught it, he caught the little gold frog. So, oh, and she's gotten attacked. They both got attacked. And they both got the logical thing. So you're done. We can't rally the troops because the landing spot is a, a national park. So you can't have a club gathering going there. I could change it to like a regular park, but then it might make it that people who shouldn't really be coming would be there. So I did decide not to. And just go with the fact that it's not supposed to be. <laughs> just in case they catch crystals, I put them onto the curator aspiration because we're not examining any uh, traps. So that's not going to be a thing that they're going to be able to help with. And she caught some more fish. So they're just going to fish. If they catch anything exciting, I will be back with that. Well, we got to pop up to stay and I'm going to have them stay for another... I don't know that they'll stay for a full two days, but I'm going to have them stay for two days and then I'll have them leave and go home like before, like sometime in the middle of the night on Sunday, but one day would only be till like Sunday afternoon and I want them to come stay for kind of a day and a half. So we're going to extend. That's kind of expensive, but you know, hopefully we'll catch some more frogs. <laughs> we haven't caught any more frogs. They've just caught, you know, fish and some things to help them, like the machete that she caught and things like that. And she got hungry, so I had her Grand Delicioso some food, which I put in the cooler. 
I have to drag it out of the cooler for them to eat it again. They can't like go and grab the food from in the cooler, but still good that it can help it. Not that it costs anything, but it means I don't have to have her do magic and possibly fail. Uh, <laughs> so we just have the food. He, of course, isn't really that hungry because, oh, we got them. We have had these happen a couple of times. Um, looks like this person is maybe, oh no, I don't know, maybe she's not dirty. So, you know what, this was his, so why don't you come here and open your treasure chest. We can see, you know, what we got in there. And I probably, I need to put the fish back away. He is getting hungry now. So he got spirit, he got blessed. He could have gotten cursed. Wondrous items, he took an artifact and some adventure gear. So, what did he get? I, I don't know. He, this is the artifact, I'm guessing, and maybe he got another machete. He also caught it, so I'm not sure. Just because it's not showing anything else new. So he needs... He's hungry. Uh, in a view right now. We're going to open this and grab it into his inventory so he can uh, uh, grab a serving. And I will have her fly over if I can get there easily. I don't know if I can. I'm gonna see if I can get and see it without having to go through like the whole, like if it's like available. This is where obviously this isn't available. You can just see it. And where is the other fishing spot? There's this. This was where you came through to get across. So it should be on this side because here's that, and it should be over here. Okay, so she's gonna fly here because it's open that's why we can fly here if it's not open you can't you can see it but you can't go into it so if i showed you the temple because we're not in the temple you can travel you can really i'm surprised that you can travel there i thought you had to open it up <laughs> anyways i'm not taking a chance on that we're gonna get her to fly over here and uh and open her treasure chest because we may as well since we're here and like you said, it didn't get very much. If anything, he got, he didn't get, can you come here and open the treasure chest? Oh, your sun bay, your, your, your star, uh, sun, I can't, st I can't remember, cloud gazing, that's what you're doing. <laughs> you're cloud gazing, not stargazing. <laughs> it's the wrong time of day and you're not sun gazing either. <laughs> that would hurt your eyes. So let's see what you got. You got some simoleons, which I didn't see. And she got, uh, oh, she got a blessing also and some adventure gear. Can we see what adventure? Oh, she got a waterfall in a bottle. And obviously the fish is just fish that she caught. And maybe she also got a jungle machete unless that was because she caught it. Let's take a look at her moodlets here. So this is celebrity sighting. Um, I don't know. That's not... I don't see anything here that looks like it was like a blessing that's showing up on her. We have to wait. Oh, here it is. The spirit of Balumpaso has blessed her with the blessing of the budding wallflower. With this, this introduction to a new random sim, will it lead to a great friendship, a steamy romance, a bitter rivalry, or simply fade away? Okay. And he got... Wondrous, I don't know, I thought he got a blessing too. Maybe they just, no, it says they did a blessing on him, but I don't see anything like a pop-up for him. And he doesn't have anything either. What are you doing? Oh, you're viewing that. Actually, speaking of viewing, I know that we're here and whatever. Let's come in here and go on to knowledge and have her, because there's probably a spot here. She may as well dig to get those three spots. May as well. Well, there should be a spot here. Usually there is. <laughs> There's obviously one in the other neighborhood. Yeah, normally there is one. Just these, which aren't like dig sites. They don't count. I'd have to put her, if I'm going to have her dig them up, she may as well get like, if she gets a crystal, it should count for it. But I kind of wanted them to catch the crystals fishing. And then I would let them do the rest. And then also, like, I, ha I have tried doing the cur curator aspiration. Uh, but I made sure they caught all the crystals fishing with the other household that I'm playing offline. So, hmm. 
Okay, well, I don't see anything here. <laughs> I don't see any dig sites at all. So I guess we won't do that. But we did get these chests open and they didn't really give them very much. We'll continue fishing in the next part and see if we can get any more treasures. But that's going to be it for this part. Likes and comments are always appreciated and they really help with the algorithms. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!